We must accept that acts of misconduct of a few rub off on the rest of the judiciary and create the impression that all judicial officers have their hands soiled with the process of corruption. That's the wake-up call, or perhaps a good way to hit the nail on the head. Obviously, the Chief Justice of Nigeria is not unaware of recent developments in the judiciary, especially the calls for reforms and the need for that arm of government to effectively play its role as the last hope of the common man. Let me be clear here. It is not going to be business as usual for the few unscrupulous elements in our midst. That right act may have also come in handy at a time the judiciary needs everything possible to regain its place of pride. Several blows had been dealt on that arm of government in recent times, from accusations of corruption to petitions against judicial officers and deliberate delay of justice. Now, 13 judges, including two chief justices, are to face a panel over misconduct practices. That is the latest of the scandal trailing the Nigerian judiciary. In October 2016, the DSS and the Sting operation arrested six senior judges over corruption allegations. Some of them were tried, stripped of their judicial duties temporarily, and later acquitted of all charges. They are Justice Sylvester Nguta and Justice Inyang Okoro, both of the Supreme Court, Justice Adeni Yadimola and Rita Ophelia Jumogobia, Justice Hidyazira Ingajiwa, Justice Musa Kuria, all from the Federal High Court, and Justice Agbadu James Fishim of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. Any judicial officer found wanting will be dealt with decisively and shown the way out swiftly. The EFCC is one of the few agencies fighting corruption in the country, but it needs the judiciary for it to be more effective. Now, the Chief Justice of Nigeria has identified the need to help speed up trial for looters of the country's economy with the setting up of a committee headed by Justice Ayo Salami, a retired president of the Court of Appeal. I am determined to redeem the unfa unfairly battered image of the judiciary. The setting up of the committee is still a subject of debate. It might as well bring about the much needed change or otherwise. What many Nigerians want, however, is total judicial reforms that will bring back the glory days of the judiciary.